don't perish. This shit high, boy. What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoewear and today we're checking out one of the more affordable basketball shoe options out there, the Nike Flyby Mid 3 in this siren red colorway. So first, thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. But you know, starting off with the box and the price, you know, these are gonna get that OG Nike box, which did throw me off after like just spending so much time reviewing signature shoes. It's kind of like back to the basics with this shoe box. But you know, as for pricing, this is one of the cheapest options out there retailing for the low price of $65, which is always gonna be nice. So looking at the design and just the appearance for this shoe, this is the third model for this flyby midline with Nike. And it's actually the cheapest basketball shoe that they offer all the way down at $65, like we were just talking about. So, you know, I actually like to look for this year's model, just especially compared to the flyby mid two. But these remind me a little bit of the Giannis Immortality basketball shoe, which is just the subline to uh, the signature Zoom Freak line that Giannis has. You're gonna have a lot of the same elements, like you get a thicker midsole on this model with some patterns built in. You're also gonna have that curved heel which is a little bit more defined on the Giannis Immortality, but you do still get that arch in the back of these flyby mid threes. And these do kind of have a funky thing going on with the tongue that I don't really like. I'm not really sure why you have that kind of pink chunk on there for the tongue, but it does match the sock liner. So, you know, maybe they just wanted to pull that out a little bit, or, you know, maybe it's just there without reason. I guess you always, you know, can't rule out that possibility, but I also like the Nike patch that was on the heel for these. I think they definitely spice this model up just a little bit compared to the flyby mid too. So, you know, that was nice. So now looking at the materials and the performance side for these shoes, we'll check out the cushioning first. So much like last year's model, these are going to have some Nike foam set up for the cushioning. And Nike talks about how these are supposed to give you a good feel on the court and off the court. And well, in my humble opinion, they probably feel a little bit better off the court. And that's the harshest thing I'm gonna say about these because, you know, in general, they do okay. I really only notice that the cushion is lacking whenever, you know, coming down from a jump I guess the only problem is, is that you kind of jump a lot whenever you're playing basketball. So I guess the impact protection just isn't anything special on this shoe. You would kind of expect that. It's gonna be, you know, just that Nike foam. You don't get the Cushlon, the Phylon, and the midsole. There's no like Zoom or Turbo units placed anywhere on this shoe like I'm used to playing in. So it was a pretty sudden shift for me to go to these. It was a noticeable kind of lag for the cushion. So I wouldn't recommend that if it's one of your key things that you look for in a basketball shoe. Looking at the materials, you know, Nike didn't put the highest quality stuff into this model. The retail price should kind of tell you that, but the upper is made of a combination of perforated leather and mesh. And that combination is definitely going to keep the shoe very lightweight. This is one of the lightest shoes that I've ever played in. You can see they only weigh 362 grams for a size 10 and a half, which is even lighter than last year's Fly by 2 model. And that was a light shoe as well. So I do always love whenever it comes to a basketball shoe, you know, just kind of keeping it light. It is nice to have something you can kind of move around freely in. And then the support isn't going to be bad on this shoe. It's not going to be anything over the top. And, you know, obviously you shouldn't expect that because if Nike could make any basketball shoe have like no flaws for $65 retail price, well, then we'd be having a bigger problem. We'd be getting just like robbed in broad daylight with some of these other signature shoe lines out there. And just like even regular models that retail for a lot more money. So, I mean, as far as the materials, you do get about what you'd expect, but I was glad the support wasn't like a downside or anything like that. So to finish off with traction, these actually played a little bit better than I was expecting. They do have a similar look to last year's Flyby 2 model, which is just gonna be some wavy lines. But there was no break in that model. These are gonna have like, you know, a pivot point mixed in with a few other designs. And there is a little bit of stickiness to this model that I did like. I'm not sure if it's gonna wear off pretty quickly, but I imagine that it probably will. But to finish off with sizing, these actually do run a little bit on the big side. There's more room in my toes than normal. So, I mean, more than I'd even prefer. So you probably could get away with going a half size down, but you know, this isn't a super wide model. So definitely keep that in mind too. But you know, altogether the Nike Flyby Mid 3 is a solid shoe. I mean, personally, I think the look got better. Like I said, 
said this is kind of similar to that Giannis immortality kind of vibe which I thought was a pretty clean shoe so I mean really the cushion is what kind of bugged me the most and that's just because I am used to playing and more of the premium stuff you know there are just some different things you could do to kind of play with that like swapping out the insole just different things like that to kind of help with the cushion so you know definitely not a bad shoe here by Nike it's just not going to be one of my favorites so if you're interested in buying these shoes and you want to support our channel we do have an affiliate link in the description that does give us a little commission that we just put back into reviewing more shoes so feel free to check that out but that wraps up this performance comparison until next review i'm landed from shoe wear peace Mama.